Hello you golfing legends, top bloke here in my little man cave where I have a Skytrack launch monitor. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of these, but these are like the Trackmans and the Splight Scopes, but they're more of the consumer level, so they're not as expensive and they're not supposed to be as accurate. Well, they're not as accurate, I know that for a fact, but they're near as damn it, you know, it gives you an idea of your yardages and your ball flight, and uh, I think it's brilliant value for money and uh, saving a fortune going to the range. Uh, so today I thought I'd do a video on a feature on it called bag mapping, where you uh, go through your clubs, you do three shots or five shots, but I'm going to do three shots today, and it will calculate your average gapping. I've done this on my normal set of clubs, but today I'm going to do it on a set of Ben Hogan clubs, uh, the scary looking blades, uh, I'll, I'll show you now. Okay, so here are the clubs that I'll be using for this demonstration. Ben Hogan Grind Apex. With added rust for speed. And uh, look at the grips. They must be the original ones, aren't they? Of course they are. It's got Apex still written on them. Right, so first things first, let's go into the sky. Uh, Skytrack bag mapping feature. So what you do is you click onto game improvement and on the left there is bag mapping and you just let that load up like that. So you come up this page and you've got up to 13 clubs that you can use but for today I'm going to use, uh, let's just use four clubs. Um, so shots per club, it says here five, that's the default setting but I'm going to use three shots per club. Intended gap, default is seven yards. I don't know if that's what they recommend you have and I don't really know about that. So let me just uh, put some clubs in there. So I go to the uh, computer and up here, let's uh, put nine iron as the first club. The second club, eight iron. Third club, seven iron. Uh, and the fourth club, a six iron. So we just use four clubs, just for this demonstration purposes. Uh, three shots and you just press the ply and it takes us up to the screen here club one of four which is a nine iron shot one of three using the tightest pro v don't know why because i don't use them out in the course they're too bleeding expensive so first club what was it a nine iron let's get a nine iron here somewhere around here here it is the old ben hogan grind apex club but they were the club of the days. Right. Left is it? A little bit. My word, 111 yards for a 9 iron. So there you go, there's 76 uh, club head speed, 86 ball speed, and 7,636 uh, revs. So obviously, not a good shot. I think we're expecting around sort of 8,000 revs for this club, or even more. It's a little bit better, I think. But it's not going to go very far. My words, you had to be good in those days. 107 yards. So yeah, that's my second shot. Then I've got to do a third shot for the nine iron. There you go. That's a better. Spin rate, 9,000. Oh, I think that's going left, isn't it? Yep. My word. 120 yards for 9-9. Nine -nine. Yet to be good in those days, I'm telling you. 8 times. so that's next club. Club 2 or 4 is an 8 iron. Tell you what, if you can hit these clubs, hit anything. Oh, fat is that, fat is it. Trying too hard. Trying too hard. But anyway, once again, gives you all the uh, club head speed, ball speed. You can see it's a terrible shot. So I'm doing number two of the eight iron. Oh, let's get a good one going. i spin that one. Much further than my 9-9. Get 
God. Kids today don't know they've got it easy, do they? It's going left all day long. Seven iron next. I hit that the best I could hit that. And that's only going to go, what, 135 yards? I mean, look, good, good club head speed, 82 mile an hour. What's the rev? 7,500 for 7 iron, I suppose that's. I don't know, is that too much for 7 iron? I'm not sure. But these are the old blades, aren't they? the best I could hit that thing, I tell you. And that's going nowhere. Wow. Wow. See, 83 miles an hour. That's, not, that's, bad. that's good for me, 83. I'll take that all day long. If I hit an iron, 83 constantly. One more shot for the silver line. Oh. So spin on that. Come on, son. Come on, son. That's going to be about 139. Oh, there you go. And the last club for this demonstration is six iron. Oh. Sounding nice. Sounding good. Come on, let's go. Six iron, I can't reach 150 yards of a six iron. 82 mile an hour, club head speed, ball speed. So look, so now that we're finished, it brings us up to the screen here. And you've got, I don't know, let's uh, zoom it in a bit. I don't know if you can see it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Is that right? So yeah, this is our yards, which is 25, 50, 7,500 yards, which just shows the average carry distance. And uh, you've got my nine iron here, uh, eight, seven, and six. So it says the average cl club gap for those four clubs is 10.7 yards. Closest gap is six yards. Average shot dispersion is 7.7 .7 yards. Uh, farthest gap, 16 yards. And uh, so the intended gap was meant to be about seven yards. I've got 10.7 yards. I suppose that's not too bad, is it? I don't know. Who knows? Better man would tell you. So now you've got some other pages and you can have an overhead view of it all. And you've got your um, information there. And then you've got your information for your individual clubs. Your 9 iron, 107 yards, average carry, average shot dispersion, 17 yards. And it tells you the offline intensity is a minus 3 yards which is in a draw. Uh, so yeah, you can go through the 8 iron, 113 yards, average carry, 7 iron, 130 yards. 6,930, 139. So yeah, there you go, Jess. That's the bag mapping feature. Be good in those days to play this, didn't you? So yeah, any questions about Sky Track? Anything you'd like me to do on the Sky Track? Uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you got this far, latest potatoes. <laughs>